All right, so now we're ready to mix our Bona chroma coloration system. Uh, we've got our mix bucket with our liner in it, stir stick, chroma part A, and our Bona chroma additive part B, and we'll go ahead and, and get her mixed up. So to get our chroma properly mixed, we're gonna take the chroma coloration part A, and we're gonna rock that back and forth just to make sure it's thoroughly mixed up. Uh, most of the pigments and the product colors uh, tend to stay really well dispersed. Although some of the heavier brown tones, the darker colors, and you know winter, some of the grays, anything that has white in it, some of those heavier pigments, uh, those products may actually need to be shaken a little bit just to make sure that everything gets thoroughly mixed. Um, if you do shake up a product, just make sure that you give it some time to defoam and or when you pour it in your mix bucket, if you notice a bunch of foam in there, again, just give it a little extra time. Uh, we don't want to be spreading foam on the floor. It, it may give you some application issues. So just know that as, as far as your mixing process. Uh, after that, we're gonna take our coloration additive part B and we're gonna pour that and stir immediately with a stir stick into the part A in our mix bucket. Again, we're gonna let that sit for five or 10 minutes, let that uh, coloration additive chemistry start working before we apply it to the floor. And then know once you've got the product mixed, your pot life is about 24 hours. And it's not like with traffic that the product's probably gonna get hard and, and uh, gel up or anything like that. It's just that the color locking uh, chemistry or properties of that color additive uh, may diminish, and that's a key part of how this product uh, reacts uh, um, chemically and correctly on the floor. So you've got 24 hours, and then we wouldn't recommend that the, you use the product. Also, do not try to add the additive, part B, a second time. Uh, you're not going to get the same effect at all. And like traffic, this product does uh, release a little bit of CO2 while it's uh, drying and curing. So if you have unused product, don't cap that tightly just to avoid any pressure buildup um, from unused product uh, that's already been mixed. And then of course, dispose of any unused product that you're not going to use at all. It's been more than the 24 hours. Uh, dispose of that according to your local state and federal regulations for your area. All right, so now we've got our product mix. We've got the coloration additive added, properly stirred up. We've let it sit for five or 10 minutes to defoam, and we're ready for our application now of a Bonacroma coloration system.